Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Cheryl. If you're new, welcome to the C-Squad. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for joining me again. As you can tell, we've got a familiar background. I'm back at my parents' house. Don't worry, I'm still a master's student at University of Kent. But right now we are on Christmas break. So I'm back home. I got back yesterday. And as you can tell by the title of this video, we are going to Greece. Athens to be specific. So I'm going to be taking you guys along for this trip. If you enjoy traveling, content i will have my scotland vlogs linked down below as well as my trip to south africa and zimbabwe also in the next video we are going to be going to another european country so comment down below any guesses you have for where we're going before we get into it please like this video and subscribe to my channel for more lifestyle videos and vlogs and without further ado let's go to greece It is far too early in the morning and far too cold. <laughs> We have arrived you guys we are in greece so the flight was three hours the first hour i took a nap the second hour i worked on assignments because i am still a student and i have assignments due when i get back then the third hour i spent editing one of my vlogs but we're at the hotel so let me give you guys a little bit of a room tour here's the door you come in through here on your left is the bathroom which is pretty nice we've got the shower over here that looks like it's gonna be nice in the morning i can't lie then we've got this nice mirror over here and here's the sink area and then we've got this giant mirror over here i'm gonna have fun with this on my instagram stories then here we have the beds and we have one over here this shall be mine and then the closet area here's the closet we've got a mini fridge you guys how epic is that oh and there's water in here that's nice then we've got some coffee oh i love this because i need my morning cup of coffee And then apparently we've got a balcony as well. What is that? The ocean? Is it a sea? There's a lot of water down there. Say hi to the people. So I don't know what the plans are for now. I'm hungry, so my first agenda is to get food. So we'll see. By the way, you guys, Athens is actually two hours ahead of London. So it is now 2.30, but technically it's 12.30 for me. Let's get some food, you guys. No? I like the food part. I love the food part. So are you happy to be in Greece, Ada? Yeah. It's what are your first impressions? I mean, it looks nice. Yeah. yeah. It's sunny. We haven't seen the sun in a couple of weeks, as my mom said, so we're excited. You and me Feels like I know we would be Incredible, credible Incredible, incredible You and me Feels like we're so meant to be Incredible, credible Incredible, incredible
You guys, I don't know how my mom messed up the room key already, but I had to go downstairs and get it fixed. But yeah, that was a good afternoon. We went to a really nice restaurant. The waitress was so nice. You guys saw our meal and everything. I'm gonna try and be a little bit more adventurous tomorrow with the food. Today, I just like went with a burger, which I know is so basic. I'm in Greece. So don't worry, tomorrow I'll actually eat some Greek food. But yeah, we also had this like Greek yogurt dessert with like a marmalade. That's my mom right now. Anyway, we had a dessert which was like marmalade jam, which was like so good. Anyway, I think we're just gonna chill for the rest of the night because everyone is so tired. So I'll catch up with you guys if we do anything interesting. Otherwise, I'll see you guys tomorrow. We are on day two in Athens and we are going on a nice little hop on hop off bus tour today We're gonna go to the Acropolis, the Parthenon, I hope I'm saying all of this correctly Basically just do a whole bunch of touristy stuff So I'm ready to get going, so let's head out You guys, we couldn't figure out the tram system. That was confusing. We couldn't even buy tickets because the machine is out. So we're just gonna take a cab instead. breakfast at McDonald's. I wanted a hash brown but breakfast had finished. We had these crispy chicken bites. Aiden, what did you think was the crispy chicken bite? Thumbs up from Aiden. Anyway, we're gonna go on the city sightseeing bus now. Okay, it is so loud over here, but we did one lap on the bus tour and we saw pretty much the whole of Athens. So my parents went to Zara to go and do shopping, but once they're done, we'll get back onto the bus and head to the Acropolis. Okay, so after walking up, we found out that the Acropolis is closed today, so we are going to see if we can come back tomorrow. But yeah, it is very beautiful here. of the day yeah. at the Olympic Stadium. That is so cool. So when I'm actually gonna go in, it is 10 euros entry and I'd rather spend 10 euros on my dinner tonight, but it is pretty cool.
heading home. We're just waiting for the bus. It's like 11 minutes away, but today has been the longest day. So I can't wait to get back to the hotel. Okay, we are back at the hotel. That was a full day in Athens. We are back, what time is it? It is almost 8.30. On the way back, we got on the bus thinking that we could buy bus tickets on the bus because if you've never been to the UK, that's pretty much what you can do. You can pay for your bus ticket on the bus, either cash, card, Apple Pay, whatever. So we attempted to do that this time. We spoke to the driver and he was like, one second. Anyway. <laughs> I love that, thank you. Anyway, so basically we asked the driver if we could buy the tickets on the bus and he was like, no. We asked if we could buy it online and I think he just said yeah, but he wasn't really like paying attention to what we were saying. So he tried to look for tickets online. I don't really think there's a way to buy tickets online. So we ended up having to get off the bus, go to the train station and buy tickets there. So that is my first tip. If you are traveling to Athens, go to a train station and buy like a 90 minute pass or a 24 hour pass or whatever. That is how you use the bus system here. But we figured it out in the end. I'm so tired. Today was so long. So I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow is our last full day in Athens. We're leaving on Thursday. So I'll see you guys then. We are off to the city. So here you have to change the line. Here, Picro Daphne. This okay. is where you have to change the line. You guys, so yesterday we should have just asked the lady at the reception for help because she gave us a full list of directions. She basically explained the whole tram system and how we changed the tram to get to the Athens city center. She also had tickets for us to buy for the tram, so that would have solved our issue yesterday. So, also, if you're staying at a hotel in Athens, ask them for help and directions to get to where you need to go because they probably will. on the hop on hop on bus tour again but we forgot our tickets at home and they would not print new tickets for us so we are just going to take the bus to the Acropolis hopefully it's open today that way we can go to the museum another travel tip don't forget your tickets for your hop on hop on bus tour Guys, it's raining. There's actually no way. Really? was amazing. Literally, highlight of the trip. Another tip, it is very slippery there. So make sure you wear non-slip shoes because you will slip and fall.
footage from the museum. This lighting is amazing. Yeah, it looks better. But yeah, that is it for us at the museum. That was pretty cool. Saw some really cool statues. So we are gonna look for a restaurant. But I'll catch up with you guys later. Done. My mom is in my dad and brother's room right now, so that is the perfect opportunity for me to recap and end off today. Today was amazing. Yesterday when the Acropolis was closed, I was kind of like, oh, it's fine, we don't actually have to go in there. I mean, we've seen it from the outside, but I'm genuinely so glad we decided to go today. Like, you actually have to go in. Like, it's something that you cannot miss. It is beautiful. Shout out to everyone who was watching my Instagram stories, because like, chef's kiss i got so many photos i've never taken so many photos of myself of anything in my life travel tip number i don't know what we're on now come to greece during the off-peak season which is like november to march whoa the lighting in this room it just like automatically turned off okay i hope that's good but yeah come during the off-peak times november to march because everything is like half price so entrance into the acropolis i think is usually 20 pounds 20 euros but right now it was 10 euros also the same thing at the museum it's like usually 20 i don't know what it is but it was definitely cheaper this time of year and also for the acropolis museum my brother and i got in for five euros because we're under the age of 25 so if you're under 25 this is your sign to come to athens this has been an amazing trip. I actually wanted to come to Athens in March of 2020. I had booked accommodation and everything. I was gonna do a solo location. It was gonna be a really fun vlog, you guys. And then obviously, for obvious reasons, my trip had to get canceled. But honestly, waiting three and a half years was totally worth it. This is an amazing city. Everyone is super friendly, despite the fact that we are confused tourists and we don't know the language. Everyone is really willing to help. The restaurant staff are so nice, hotel staff, everyone Everybody is just so nice. Also, after every meal, we've gotten some type of dessert. So the last two days, it was like some type of Greek yogurt dessert. Today, it was shots. My brother had a shot of apple juice. <laughs> while my mom dad and i had something i don't know what it was but it was good so yeah we've just been having a blast but that is the end of the trip we're leaving tomorrow so i will vlog a little bit tomorrow and end off the vlog properly but thank you for watching this far don't forget to like the video guys help your girl out and i will see you guys tomorrow when we're leaving heading home So we've been at the airport for like two hours now waiting for the bag drop to open so that we could check in and do security and all that stuff. Our flight is at 2.30. I'm sad to be leaving Greece but I'm excited to go home and sleep in my own bed. This 
walk to the porting gate is brutal. It was brutal on our exit on Monday and it is even more brutal today. My back is sore. I'm tired. You guys, traveling is actually an all-day thing. We've been up since 9 a.m. Just trying to make it back to the UK. Our flight took an extra hour. I don't know what was happening in the air. We even had some turbulence at some point and we weren't allowed to like move around the cabin for I think like 45 minutes to an hour. But it's all right, we had a four-hour flight this time, which meant that I had lots of time to get my assignment done. I'm at like 1,200 words and also video editing for my Keanu Lede concert vlog, which I'll have linked down below. I I will continue updating you guys on my assignment in my next vlog because as I mentioned at the beginning of the vlog, if you can even remember that far, I am traveling somewhere else in the next vlog. So don't forget to comment down below any guesses. To be honest, if you follow me on Instagram, you will know because I will probably be posting up a storm like I did with Greece. I had so much fun in my Instagram stories. Greece was amazing. Absolutely love it. Missing it already. Take me back. I definitely have to go back one day maybe to Santorini, Mykonos. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to like comment and subscribe to join the c squad and hit that notification bell to be notified when i upload new videos i'll see you guys in my next one bye